In this video, I'm going to teach you about rounding rules. Sounds kind of juvenile, but these rules are different from the rules that you currently follow. Let me first explain this to you. So when you're rounding right now, right, the rules that I'm guessing that you follow are uh, you determine how many digits you want in your final answer, and then you look at the next digit, and based on what that digit is, you either round the digit before it up one value or you keep it the same, right? Usually we follow the uh, five and above, you round the digit before it up one, um, and if it's below five, you just keep the digit before it the same, right? Um, that's all well and good. A lot of those rules are still going to apply, um, but the issue with that, those rules that you are currently following is that you are rounding up more often than you are rounding down. And that becomes an issue, right? So when you are rounding down, um, you are rounding down four ninths of the time and you are rounding up five ninths of the time. We don't want to do that. We want to round up just as often as we round down. So that's where these rounding rules are going to um, come into play. So let's first look at numbers one and two. I know there's a lot on the screen right now. So step, uh, these are steps, right? Um, so the first step is going to be to, to determine the correct number of sig figs that you want in your final answer. So let's say for um, all of our great uh, simplistic purposes that we're just going to, uh, we want our final answer in three sig figs, okay? So once you know the correct number of sig figs, then you are going to uh, count those out. Uh, you start by going from left to right. You start at the first sig fig that you encounter from the left and you count one, two, three sig figs in. So for instance, up here, this is my first value from left to right. That's significant. One, two, three sig figs. Step two then is that you're going to look at the next digit. So the, the digit to the right of your last significant figure that you want. So I want one, two, three sig figs. So therefore I'm going to look at the next number, which in this case is a seven, okay? Now, based on what this number is, we are going to do one of three things. The first rule for rounding is that if this digit is greater than five, and I mean greater than five, not greater or equal to, it's greater than five, so six, seven, eight, or nine, you are going to round the digit before it up one. So we are going to round the four up to a five. Oh my gosh. To make this number 2.15. Okay, now let's go to the second one. Again, we want three sig figs, so we are going to go from left to right, count three sig figs, one, two, three. So we are going to then look at the next digit for rounding purposes. Now we have a four here, so we are going to follow rule B. If this digit is less than five, so four, three, two, one, we are going to keep the number before it the same. So we are going to keep the eight as an eight. Now the difference comes when the next digit is a five, right? So we counted one, two, three sig figs. Our next digit is a five. When your next digit is a five, you're gonna follow this rule right here that says that you are going to change the number before it to be the next even number. So, since five is not even, we and, and our next number is a five, we need to round this five, the five that comes, we're going to round this five up to the next even number, which is a six. So this would become 9.16. However, if the number before this five is already even, so if it's 9.12, this two is already even, so I would just leave it as is. Um, and just remember that zero is an even number, right? So if the number before this, like if it were 9105, you would keep the zero as is because that's already even. 
So statistics say that you are going to round this number up half of the time, okay? Because there's an equal number of even and odds between zero and nine, okay? Um, so that is going to be the rounding rules that we follow just to help make our calculations and measurements as precise as possible, okay? And that's it for rounding rules.